live in Georgia, you might have noticed our Senate election this year is, it's, it's very confusing. You might think that John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock are running against each other. That's not true. John Ossoff is running against Senator David Perdue, who is the incumbent. Then we have a special election. And by special, I mean, it's just, it's all, it's all, it's very confusing. But it seems as if this election is going to come down between Raphael Warnock and Kelly Loeffler. In 2019, Senator Johnny Isaacson resigned, leaving his Senate seat open. Governor Brian Kemp appointed Kelly Loeffler. You might be asking yourself, why did Brian Kemp appoint Kelly Loeffler? She has no experience. That's a great question, and I have an answer for you. Money. The thing is, when you have a special election, anyone can run. There's no primary election before the special election. Everyone can just kind of toss their names into the hat. And so in order to win a special election, people have to know your name. While Brian Kemp might not seem like the brightest crayon in the Ku Klux Crayola box, he knew he had to appoint a candidate who could buy the recognition needed to win the special election. Enter Kelly Loeffler. Because just like Attila the Hun, she married rich. You really learn a lot about candidates during elections, like who they are, what they stand for, if they even know who Attila the Hun was. She doesn't know. Listen, it's important for John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock to win their Senate seats because we have a real chance of flipping the U.S. Senate blue this year. Why do we want to flip it blue? Two words for you, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell and that folds of dishonor neck that he has. What secrets are in those folds? We may never know. Anyway, if Democrats get control of the Senate, we can finally start passing bills. Bills that would provide a stimulus package for coronavirus relief. Bills that would ensure reproductive rights for women. Bills that would work to end voter suppression. So to summarize, when you're at the polls or when you're filling out your ballot at home, vote for John Ossoff and vote for Raphael Warnock. I'll leave links below so you can donate to both of their campaigns. Let's flip the U.S. Senate blue.